Hey guys, my name is Vajun. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quiz in Python 3.7.0. So that's my version. You can use any version. So first you're going to open a file. It's going to be entitled. You put it in full screen. And now I'm going to tell you the first command. So to make a quiz elegant, we need to make a welcome command. So for that, we will use the command print. Print is the command which is used to print or like show anything on the screen whatever you wish so you put bracket code and write whatever you want and that the same text is going to be printed on your screen so the screen is the printer so i'm just going to write welcome to pi quiz looks elegant next we're going to print some rules so i'm just going to um, type print because we need rules Every game needs rules, every quiz needs rules. So I'm just gonna type rules, capital letters. And yeah, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna write print again for the first rule. So the first rule here could be to please um, like put all your answers in caps lock. We need to put all of them in caps lock, but it's not necessary. But I, in this quiz, I'm putting it like that because, you know, this Python is very case sensitive. So we need to use only one type of letters. Small letters may not look good all the time, so we'll just put only capitals. Our second rule can be that for each correct answer, we could get five points. That's all you want to do. So we're going to give five points to each correct answer and we're going to print that. So each correct answer uh, can give five points. That's nice. Learn degree set Now we're going to add an input and for this we're going to use a variable. A is variable and we're going to use A. And in that variable, we're going to put input. So we're going to ask the user to take an input from A. Yes. So now we're going to ask them to enter their name. So whatever they type the input, that's going to be stored in the variable A. So when they give the answer to what is your name, and they give like whatever, John, Tim, um, the answer will go in A, the variable A. So now we have type what's your name. After that, we're going to print welcome to the quiz A. So that's going to show that you're welcoming the guest, whoever the person is, to the quiz. So we can say welcome to quiz A because I don't know who the person is, but he would have typed here, she would have typed. So we're just going to put welcome to the quiz. And then we're going to put a comma so that we can... Uh, like, that's how we do it, because we don't want to print A, we're just going to print welcome to the quiz A. What we're going to do is we're going to put the code, welcome to the quiz, and then we're going to put a comma after that, and then put A, which is going to make us show that we want to print welcome to quiz the user, Tim, John, whoever. Now, we're going to put is another question. For that, we already need input. So the next question's answer will be stored in the variable B. Now, we can put any question you wish. And for the quiz, I'm just going to put any question. So I'm just going to ask, what is the largest city on Earth by area? So if you didn't know, the largest city on Earth by area is New York. So... We're just going to type that question and now we're going to use a statement known as if. So the if statement is a statement which tells that if the answer for the input, the statement input, if the answer is New York. So we're going to put if B is equal to, double equal to, a colon and put New York. Then we're going to add a score. So here, as I mentioned, the score you get five points, so we're going to put score is equal to five. So that's going to show that for the correct answer. If it's New York, then five points will be added. And then you can print 
good, well, whatever you wish, that's correct, it's nice, super good, and put uh, the right answer, and you now have score points, we don't know how many points that is, so we're just going to use a variable score, it's not that we don't know for the first one, but it's just for the sake of the prior program, and that's how people in the world use it. So we're gonna put. That's right. You know how the score points, as the variable, the number five is stored in the variable score. So we've stored it in score. That's nice. Now we're gonna use the second else. So if it, the user puts anything else other than New York, we're gonna put else colon, and we're gonna change the score to zero. And uh, with that, we're gonna print that incorrect. That sorry, we can put anything again. Sorry, sorry, and uh, we can put that is incorrect. And uh, we're gonna say that the correct answer is New York. Yes. Uh, New York as mentioned and don't forget that it is in caps lock as I told. We need to use caps lock. And uh, we're just gonna put the points, how many points. So we can just copy the same thing or I'm just gonna type the whole thing again. You now have score points, you now have comma. For the f first question, um, you don't need to put score as a variable. But for the next questions, you need to. I'll tell you why. In the later questions. So for the first question, I'm just going to put score points. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run this program just to show you. So we're going to you run the module. So that you have to save it. You can save it on your uh, location, whatever location you want. Just sell it. Make a Python folder and put it there. And I'm gonna name it Python quiz. Simple quiz. And I'm just gonna save that. So now it's gonna ask that wow that's nice. I'm just gonna type my child's name PV Prime Play. But it's actually pretty elegant, the rules and all of that. Wow, welcome to Quiz PV Prime Play. Looks so nice. And now I know it's New York, so I'm just gonna type New York. <laughs> Wow, that's right, you have five points. See, so when it's the right answer, it's giving out five points. That's nice. So now we're going to write a bit more. So we're going to add another question to give you an idea how the difference comes. So I'm just going to add another variable C uh, for another question and input. And then I'm going to put another question. Here, what I can ask is, uh, let me think. Yeah, I can ask what the largest creature or animal on earth is. Animal or creature, anything is fine. I'm just going to use creature. So the largest creature on earth, the largest creature on earth, um, as mentioned in Google or any other sites you see, is the blue whale. That's a very common question. And I think you should be knowing it. And so, if statement again, so now if C double equal to signs is blue whale, we're just gonna do the same thing what you had to do. So, score is equal to score. So, I just copied the last thing, sorry. But now for the score, um, we're gonna use score is equal to score plus five. So, we're going to use the previous score. That's what I'm telling you. We don't have to put score is equal to 10. We're going to put score is equal to score plus 5, the previous score. Uh, now we're going to put the else statement. Else score is equal to score plus 0, the previous score plus 0. And we're going to print the same thing. Like, sorry, whatever is there. So, I'm just putting the same statement so that it's the classic, like standard. Sorry, that's incorrect. Same thing again. And the correct answer is New York. 
Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I just copying the thing about. Click down to his blue well. And you have the same, whatever you wish. Okay, I'm just going to put, you have score points, nothing else. You can put anything else. Your score is this, your score is that. But this is just what I'm putting in. So you now have score points. Good. That's very nice. But now what I'm thinking is that I'm going to put an end statement just to say thank you for playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print a thank you statement. So I'm just going to say thanks for playing the quiz. Just thanks for playing. Everything's fine. So I'm just going to thanks for playing. And then I'm going to put A because as mentioned on top, A is in which the person has put his name. A. You know, on top. So that's why I'm going to use that. I'm just starting the person that put his input as A. That's what I'm using here. Thanks for playing A. And then I'm going to put a full stop. And then your score is score points because I, that's I don't know. So I'm going to put co color, uh, sorry, cuts, comma, quotes, comma, score. Again, comma. Again, I'm going to start it. Score points. Now it's just gonna say your score is how many number of points you have. And yeah, that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do okay, so your score I just use the same word again, so I'm just gonna say your final score so that looks like the la end of it, like last score. And well, that's pretty good. Now we're just going to put the ending code and we're going to put the bracket. And that's pretty nice. It looks very good. So we're going to run this program once more. So to be saved, okay. What's the name? Okay, my name is PB Prime Play, my channel's name. And then what's the large city? In? City by Earth, by area, New York, obviously. We buy that. Okay. The largest creature, I'm just going to write the wrong answer because I just want to show you what's going to happen if I don't write the correct answer. So, if it's a question, I'm just going to write elephant. Yeah, just like that. Obviously, the last time, I'm not elephant. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Thanks for watching.